You guys are wondering what kind of gloves I like. 7 mil. I'm wearing right under a pair of cheap shop gloves like these. 41 degrees this morning. Again, we are here. We're going to be doing just the rear of this house. Look at this. This is actually the good side. <laughs> Not too bad through here. Knock that trim up a little bit. Right here, though, look at this little section. Woo! See some hoses dragged out? Get this taken care of. Okay. <clears throat> Yesterday, we did a roof wash. And we still got some hot. That worked out perfectly. I'm going to empty out the line here and it's going to trans transition over to probably a one and a half percent. But this is uh, a pretty, pretty good section here. So it's a good place to empty out this line. I, uh, I rinse out my pumps very well. I usually do not rinse out these lines because all this SH is usable. I don't want to just dump it in the woods. It doesn't seem to bother the lines. I mean, this is a chemical rated line. This is a CureTech line, soft wash hose. I've never had a problem with it. There we go. You hear that, that splashing? That was it switching over to, uh, that was air coming through. Hold on, I gotta switch my tip. That was air coming through from yesterday when I rinsed the pump and that's how you kind of tell when your chemical switched over so now you get a little bit more free with it it's not uh, so hot the fan spray is great it just helps you really cover areas and the Tip just helps you pinpoint afterwards. All right, let's let that dwell. Let's go back to our fan tip. I do want to be careful of this door here. Now we're gonna we're gonna do that section above the door, but I'm gonna be standing right there with the the hose when I do it. I want to pre wet pre wet that uh, wooden door. Get right up there with that fan spray. Nice coverage.
Okay. All right. Let's let this dwell for a minute. Again, using a pretty low mix. Might have to hit a few things a couple times. It was really strong over here. You can see a couple spots I missed on the bottom. Pretty good. All this lichen, nice and white now. Was green and healthy. There's a few spots, we're gonna hit it. Hit it again. Look at that, cleans right up. And drag this hose over too. Back in the trees, getting all that grime. Yeah, look at that, she's melting off. I don't, this, this section doesn't even really need a respray, doesn't look like. When the SH hits it, it's just melting, it's coming right off. through here friends this section looks good this section looks good One more time, you getting it. All right, let's let this dwell for a minute. Let's see. Hoses work pretty well. When you turn them on, <clears throat> you get a lot more flow, pressure. It's, uh, it's a really good idea to turn these on before you try to use them. Just a little, little tip of the day. <laughs> there we go. There it is. All right. Hit that spot again. I believe my fellow's on a well here. Not a tremendous amount of flow or pressure, but all that lichen yeah baby so you gotta find a place to set this bad boy down so I can work
SH can make wood really slippery. You always want to, it's a little slick. You always want to make sure and then tell the homeowner before you leave. <laughs> If you let everything else rinse around the windows and drain and drip and then go back and hit your windows, you'll never have an issue. You'll never have anyone say there's SH on them. Get everything else to drain first. Bring it all down. Also, this guy and like three or four other people recently have warned me to please not damage their screens with a pressure washer. Um, if you guys are getting started and all you have is a pressure washer, no big deal. Just be careful on those screens. personally wouldn't recommend doing much on a house with a pressure washer unless you're you know you're downstreaming or using a, a, a tip that minimizes the pressure but you got to be careful on the screens people are they're getting messed up by them i guess the seals on the windows too but i always tell people that i don't i don't use high pressure I always tell people it's just about 60 psi it's really no different than uh the spigot on the house is usually what i tell them and then as you see, I do as much. And I always tell people I do as much with the fan spray as I can. I think there's a couple uh, out of the corner of my eye over here. I think there's a few, yeah. I wanna respray a couple things. Everything looks good. There's a couple spots down low here. Right there was missed. That wasn't missed. That just needs a little more, a little more love. We hit that. Ah, see, it looks like it needs to be hit. It looks like it needs to be hit, but it's just, it's just kind of dried. It's been a minute since I've been here. As soon as the, as soon as that doesn't need to be hit again. As soon as the droplets hit it, it starts to run. That definitely needs to be hit, though. That was, that needed to be hit.
Yes, sir. This is the minimalist soft wash. All I got is my hose out. Use the homeowners to rinse. I'm just being lazy. I mean, I just don't want to take out 400 feet of hose just to do the backside here. And we're just not, not in a hurry today. It would be nice if this had a little bit more flow here, but like I said, I think he's on a well. If I wanted to pull, if I didn't want to use this, if I wanted a little bit more pressure, say either my pressure washer or my uh, my rinse side using my 12 volt pump to rent, rinse, probably would get um, a little bit less flow, but I think it'd be a little bit more uh, pressure. Um, but I would have to, because you want to rinse really well, especially on the other side where I was uh, using that house wash mix to start. You really want to get that off. It's going to be sticky on the side, so it's a lot of water. So in order to pull, or to, in order to use my system, I would have had to pull a hose to the truck so I can supply my tanks, pull my red hose off to rinse, or I'm sorry, pull my red hose off to Kim, and then another hose to rinse. If I was doing the whole house, that's what I would have done, but it's just, I don't care to do all that right now just for this. Just about done. I don't think we've been here more than a half hour. Look at that. Oh, you little son of a bitch. Look at that, I don't know why I keep doing that since I clearly haven't learned my lesson, but at least it didn't nail me in the back this time. All right, we're done. I always wanna rinse that stuff off really well. There's no reason why a homeowner should come out here later to water the flowers and get SH all over their hands. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> that'll do it. I can take some before and after pictures. And uh, I guess after pictures at this point, we're out of here.